Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC, well, not Ham Shack, maybe Ham Property today. We're gonna to be looking at how far does that 10 milliwatt hotspot really go when it comes to distance. Now, before we get going, let me take a trip with you up to the Ham Shack to show you the hotspot, what I'm using, and how we're gonna conduct this test. And here is my hotspot. This is what's known as a Pi Spot. If you don't know what a Pi Spot is, it is a Raspberry uh, 3B Plus board with a DB Mega board sitting on top. You will notice that it is being powered here by a portable battery pack at 2.1 amps. And I did put a nice high gain Diamond SRH320A antenna instead of the normal rubber duck antenna that comes on most of these hotspots just to try and squeeze every single foot we can um, out of this hotspot. Now the hotspot is sitting here next to the window and we're probably at about almost 40 feet up in the air, but as you'll notice with how close the neighbors are, we are in an urban environment. So plenty of obstructions, plenty of houses around here, um, but this is just sitting on a ledge near my shack. Let's see how far this thing really goes with 10 milliwatts of power. Now for the radio in this test, I'm going to use one of the newest DMR radios on the market, the Anytone 878, uh, which if you're looking for a radio, this is a good one. I am going to be using it on full turbo power, which is six watts out. And again, the hotspot transmitter is operating at 10 milliwatts of power. How far does it go? Let's start walking. Now, right up there in that very top window, that is where the hotspot is actually located. Again, that's probably about 35 or 40 feet up in the air. All right, the first stop on this is going to be just maybe about 80 to 100 feet away from the house and where the hotspot is located. For those wondering, can I just walk around my property and still use my radio with my hotspot? Let's find out if it's going to reach. K0LWC testing distance, Cathay Cordon, 50th Avenue. Anyone able to copy? 7 VDR, loud and clear. Little wind noise in the background. All right, we're at our next location. Let's see if Jimmy and 7 VDR can still hear us. And 7 VDR, K0LWC distance test, Cathay Street and 50th. You still able to copy, Jimmy? Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. Sounded just as good as the previous test. Still sounding good. We got to keep walking if we want to get out of range of this hot spot. All right, we are at our next intersection here. We are at the corner of Argonne and 51st Avenue here in Denver. I also want to show you just what it looks like between me and where the hot spot is located at my home QTH. Uh, if you look back this way through these trees, there's a large park. There's a school down there. Way, way there off in the distance is where my home QTH is with the hotspot. So we are a fair bit away and definitely some obstructions in between us. K0LWC jumping in, another distance test location, 51st Avenue and Argon Street. Uh, how copy on Colorado HD 31088. Will they hear us? Rock and roll. Sounded good. Good. Sounded good. All right. Thank you very much. We're still walking. K0LWC. We got to keep going, guys. K0LWC distance test. Uh, located behind the Denver Science and Technology High School here. Uh, how copy on 31088. Let's see how we're doing. I think I doubled you, Matt. I was just calling for you to see if you were still going further away. Yeah, I think I'm here at the uh, fringe of the, the uh, coverage. How am I sounding there on your end, Jimmy? Yeah, I think your radio is probably outperforming the uh, hotspot at this point. You sound really good. All right, you're 100% as well. So I think I found the uh, fringe, and it is way better than the stock 868 antenna. Much, much better. Awesome, dude. Yeah, except for the occasional wind noise, it's 100% no loss. All right, we are definitely getting on the fringe of coverage now. Uh, we are a far ways away from the neighborhood. I want you to take a look at this. Now, holding the radio down here this low, you can see that I'm really not getting a signal and you're not really hearing anything, but watch what happens when I raise it up straight up in the air. 
unfortunately, and I know a lot of people. Now I can hear Jimmy and 7 ver That actually took advantage of that deal. Bringing it down. On the air, which is Turning. Kind of. Uh, and just like that, with my body blocking the line of sight, I lose N7 VDR just like that. So we are definitely here on the fringe. So there you have it. I can confirm the Anytone 878 does outperform the 868 stock for stock in the hotspot distance test. Let's head back to the shack because A, it's cold out here, and B, let's get behind the keyboard and see just how far the line of sight distance really was for this test.